Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to play Paper Cuts by Machine Gun Kelly. This song is really easy. We have three main parts to learn: the lead, the main riff, and the power chord stuff, which is going throughout the whole song. So let's move in. No capo chance chaining. Uh, won't mind if you just subscribe right now. It's gonna help me a lot. So, the have a look at the tab. If you see the first line, it's a B5 chord. Index on top E. 7th fret, your ring and your pinky on the 9th fret of the D and the E string and when you're playing a power chord, keep one thing in mind that you gotta move the G, B and high E string with the index. B5. Bring this chord shape, 1, 2, 3, over here on the 4th fret of the top E string. So we have 6 on A, 6 on D. It's a G sharp 5. Now let's bring the exact same thing, 1 string down and 2 frets up. So it's now 6 on the E string and we have 8 on D, 8 on G and again top E, high E, B string we did. This is an E flat 5 and bring it a flat uh, sharp up. It's an E5. So E flat 5, then 7, 9, 9. So 4 lines, 4 chord shapes. That's the chord progression we're using for the whole song. So let's have a look at the power chord stuff firstly. Uh, the chord progression is a B5, then a G sharp 5, then E flat 5, then E5. Now the string pattern, I'm going down, down, down. So on the first chord, which is a B5, I'm going one, two, three, four. You see that? One, two, three, four. And then I quickly do an upstroke. And when I do the upstroke, I'm now really changing the chord to the second one, which is a G sharp five. So we have down, 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 down. Got it? Then you do an upstroke on the second chord, which is G sharp five, and you do a down, down, up on the G sharp five. But after the last upstroke, you're gonna just mute that by lifting up the chord from the left hand or by using your right hand by keeping your palm on the string. So you got one, two, three, four, and up, down, down, up. Right? That's pretty easy. So B five, one, two, three, four, and up, down, up. Up, down, down, up, sorry. Up, down, down, up. So yeah. So one thing is when you're changing to a different chord, you're gonna be hitting that up show. Same for the next two chords, E flat five, down, 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 up, E five, up, down, down, up. Now let's play that in the progression and see how it sounds like because this just goes at the beginning, the intro, then it just plays for the whole song. So we have Now moving on to the main riff, we're gonna follow the same chord progression, but uh, now we're just changing our position. So this is a B major chord. I'm having A string second fret, and then I'm having second fret. Um, then I'm having fourth fret on the G and B string with the ring and the pinky. Now I'm also using my middle finger as well as my ring finger, and I have a plectrum in my hand. So what I'm doing, I'm hitting the E string or the top E string, like the bass notes are located on these two strings, or maybe on the D string too. So E A D is used by the plectrum. The B, the G string is by the middle finger and the B string is by the ring finger. So have a look at the tab. I'm playing, plucking the A and the B together, 2-4. Then I play G, then B, then G, then B, then G, then B, then G. And you're gonna repeat this in all the chord shape, only the root note will be changing. So the next chord will be a G sharp 5, so now it's 4th fret on the E string. Not second fret on the E string. So we play top E, B together. G, B, G, B. And then we go to our E flat 5. It's now one on the D string. So a little bit stretchy with your index finger. You're going to play D string and B string together. G, B, G, B, G, B. And E5. G, B, G, B, G, B, G. So I'm playing B, G. I was not playing G, B. I was playing B, G. I'm sorry. I'm going B, G, B. So it's second fret on the D string right now. Pretty easy. One thing, same pattern getting repeated and only the bass note changes. And you can even make one variation which is not there in the song, which is.
You can even do that. Like. Which is a little bit tricky, but if you want, you can do that. It's not there in the song, but if you want, you can add that. So let's play the main riff all together. Follow the tap. It's really easy. Now, go with your fingers. You can even just play the whole thing by using your fingers, but I'm just more of like into hybrid picking, which is having a plectrum and also using these two fingers while playing, which I use a lot. And now moving on to the last part of the song, which we have is this lead. So have a look at the tab. Everything is there for you guys. Do a whole step bend on the 14th fret of the B string. And you see that arrow going up and then we have one arrow going down and that line is empty. So you're gonna be going up on 14th fret of the B string. A whole step bend means you're just going to the 16th fret. So if you want, you can even do a slide if you're unable to do the bend. So we have, then come down. So don't need to hit that. That's the reason you see that tab is empty. Come back, up, down. Then 12, then 10. I'm sorry, then 11. And that's it. Repeat that two more times. One more time. And then we just do one 12 fret on the B string, which is not there in the tab. And it's in the song. That's it. So you repeat. At 12. That's the whole song, guys. I hope this helps you out. Uh, subscribe. Let me know what other song by Machine Gully. I uh, just want to learn on the guitar and that's it. Bye.